Okay, in this example, uh, my operator number one, if I play the video, operator one is the guy in the back here. If I play the video here, he's actually um, walking to his corner and he stops right there and he's waiting for this guy to get to his corner. You can see that observation here. It has stops at three, minutes, three seconds and begins again at 11 seconds. So we've got all this waiting time that we didn't bother to record. Now, there's a good reason why we didn't bother to record it. Uh, but that's in terms of the fillers and so forth that we'll discuss later. Let's say we now wanted to record that wait time. So how could we do it? Okay, so we can stop the video. We're going to play the video to here. Right. And it stops right there. Now we're going to record the wait. It's operator number one. So I make sure I've got operator one selected here. And I'm going to play the wait time here. So he's waiting, he's waiting, he's waiting. Right, and eventually he's going to move. Right about there, right? And I'm just going to change my description here. Say wait. Right? And then it's non value added, so we'll definitely put that non value added. And it's probably, it could be an avoidable delay. We can flag it right here. And we save that here. Now, what will happen here, that observation is put down at the bottom. So it's coming in sequence here. Now, we really want to move it up to where it's appropriate to be uh, tagged here. So I'm just going to highlight this row here. Highlight the row, and I'm going to move the, it up here. So I'm just clicking it up here, and I'm bringing it up to the point where I want to have it here, which is right after the... So you get the walk to the cage, and he waits. You can see that here. Now, if you look here, my stop time here, 3.035, is the start time of the wait. How come? Because I played the first uh, clip here. I double-clicked on it and played it, and that played it back. So it would stop directly, or exactly at the 3.035, so that's correct. But my break point is different here. So I have to adjust these ones here. So I can now click on this, and then I do a breakpoint adjustment. And it's going to bring it up here. And now I want to see where this is, this, this is here. So maybe I move it a little bit further back down to see where we are. I play it, and I'm going to stop it right there. Right. So I'm, I'm actually going to adjust this breakpoint. It's not in the right spot now. I just click on the set. I can either do it individually, or the set will actually set both of them. This set in the middle sets the stop time of the one and the start time of the next. So now I've got the complete recording here. I click on Apply Changes. It's now going to go to 12.201. And you can see here it changed the stop time of one activity to the start time of the next activity. This is how you can easily add an observation that you missed uh, into, the, uh, into your time study.